The program at Gowrie Victoria Broadmeadows has been running as a mixed model for the last 18 months. What really excites me about this model is the benefits that I've seen just over the 18 months. I've seen these really trusting relationships form with families over a longer period of time, a higher level of participation with families in the program because they, they've built this solid relationship. When you're educating three-year-olds and incorporating three-year-olds in your kindergarten program, there is a higher emphasis on the emotional intelligence. You kind of shift your focus just a little bit to accommodate that. So just being really mindful of adjusting your language, the way you prepare children for what's coming next. And it's just little tweaks that we make, you know, slightly more time during transition times, creative ways that we can question children. When we look at things like supporting, you know, pencil grip, drawing, writing, the strength of that teaching comes down to small groups. By teaching through small groups, we're able to then really target the teaching at the point of play. What makes this program successful is the mindset of the teachers and the educators that are working in this program. Really believing in what they're doing, believing about the benefits of the two years, believing about those solid trusting relationships and what that can bring. And it is about bringing people along with you. And not everyone will think the same. It is about everybody working together, everybody thinking together, and everybody coming up with what's gonna work. One of the things we really look at is the way we pace ourselves during the day and that is very intentionally planned out so that we can meet the needs of both the three-year-old cohort and the four-year-old cohort. One of the really interesting things that always come up in a multi-age classroom is around sleep and rest. We look at it as rest and relaxation. The routine and the rhythm shifts. We might shift an experience onto the floor surrounded by cushions. So we allow children's bodies to slow down and their minds to slow down. And if they happen to have a snooze, they have a snooze. And if they don't, we know that we've allowed them that time just to kind of re-regulate, have some downtime, and then get back on with their day. Nothing is ever forced. We're always led by the child. Um, and then we facilitate the learning through their interest and through their needs.